action. Well, they pretty much bulldozed the land they've been putting in power boxes lately. Where I'm standing at right now, where the camera's pointing at, there in the dirt, that's where the uh, sidewalk was between the old home mech room, which used to be right here, where this bulldozer is sitting right now. The home mech room, the band room, and of course, and the other math classrooms, I guess. But still a bummer that it's gone. Of course, the brick building's gone. Half of it. They saved the front, though. But they destroyed the rest. And, of course, they still saved the north side. I heard they're going to tear that down. Oh, I got that machine's in the way, kind of. There's this building still there. It's going to be there for quite a while. I guarantee it. Man, it seems I woke up yesterday, the building was right here. It's just a weird, weird feeling that it's gone. It really is a weird feeling. Oh well, not everything will last forever though. Not even this building here. But within a few years it'll be destroyed too. But that'll be decades later in the future. Oh, yep, there's the sidewalk. Right here. Right by this machine, where this machine is sitting right now, that used to be the whole mech room. Unbelievable. Oh, gosh. The only way the building can live on is just think back of the old days. That's how pretty much the building will live on even though it's gone. It's just think of the memories. The memories will live forever even if the building don't. Yep. I gotta go around the bushes kind of blocking me. Oh, got, oh we got some kind of company, S and R sheet metal from Kelso, Washington. Yep. Ford F750. So it sounds like a two ton and a half. Oh, oh somebody's got one of the lifts from Jerry's Reynolds. Here's the biomass burner. Yeah, that thing's going to be wood fired. I love I I love the idea, but I don't like it at the same time. And what I mean by that, that I don't like it, is because that people won't able to get firewood now. Quite a few people out there won't, like they used to, because of this. That's one of the reasons. Kind of, kind of, not happy about the biomass burner, but the reason why I'm happy about wood fired because. I think wood's cheaper than freaking diesel. That dyed diesel, that red stuff. But anyways. Yeah, yeah, that ticks me off. I mean, what the heck, seriously. A lot of people need firewood. A lot of people it goes by wood heat around here in Forks. Here in my hometown. I'm seriously a real Forks guy folks I'm seriously am you're actually listening to a, a real forks guy oh, sounds like kids or grown-ups playing basketball over there at the middle school shed oh man this looks a heck of a lot different than it used to be yeah where the lift is just right next to it was one of the gyms, and now it's gone. Jeez, really crazy. Well, yeah, like I said, I'm glad they're gonna have wood heat because it's cheaper, but I really don't like the fact that the now people won't able to get much firewood. It's, well, they they gotta have permits in order to get firewood 
and I heard they're not giving out permits anymore. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I heard rumors are it's all because of this. Now it's causing me not to like the biomass plant now. It's causing me to hate it instead of love it. Well, actually, you should blame... Well, all you folks and me should blame the system, not the building. Because it's not the building's fault. It's just how people can make rules. Some rules can be stupid. Oh, there's that tree. Yeah, it's been there for quite a while. Yep. Oh, yeah, the teacher's lounge is gone. <sighs> boy, oh, boy, boy. I'm going to sinus is racking up. <coughs> oh, man, that hurt. Oh, man. Just seen a Dodge pull out. I hope he doesn't rev that thing too hard. It's a Cummins turbo diesel. They, they cannot handle high RPMs like gas engines can, or a, or an international diesel in a Ford, what they call them, the, also known as the Ford Power Stroke. Yeah, I like this machine. I wish I had one of these, but holy crap, I gotta win the lottery in order to get a machine like that. And that little bulldozer, I like to have that, and of course a lot bigger one too. And that caterpillar bobcat. And that little mini excavator, and a big excavator. It's pretty much as big as this machine. I think that's also an excavator too, maybe just a different arm. I don't know. I don't have very much experience about big machines yet. But I should shift gears and get into big machines too not just lawnmowers and working on trucks cars and trucks the rental store mmm I wonder where that is yep oh, excuse me folks I got the burps and nose is plugging up I hate it when my nose plugs up. It makes it hard to breathe. And the dog on wind's picking up too. I wouldn't be surprised if it really starts blowing harder. Yeah, they're still using the power box. I thought that was going to be shut down because of the. Ooh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Let's do a $1,000 reward for information resulting in the arrest, restitution, if I said it correctly, or recovery of theft or vandalism of tools, equipment, material, or property. So I hope people will stay the frig out because it ain't worth it, man. A lot of people like to cause vandalism just for fun, and I find that so stupid. I don't like, I know people like demolition derbies and maybe wrecking stuff for fun, but, but wrecking other people's property is very wrong, very stupid, it ain't worth it, it ain't worth getting into trouble just because you're having a little demolition fun, man. <laughs> man, they got the park, parking lot all scraped up from the tracks and possibly the bulldozer blades too oh man really tore the crap out of it I remember seeing a pothole I'm not sure if it's still there I think that's it but maybe just filled in there was a really nasty pothole right around this area here oh yeah there was a tree right here I think before but I don't remember it's all gravel now. Ooh, piece of metal. Well, I don't want it. Unless they say take it. Well, then now I'm just going to leave it alone. Mmm, some gravel. Cool. Uh, maybe the potholes got filled in. 
Yep. Yeah, there's pretty much nothing much left. It's just nothing but empty land now between right here to the north side of the brick building and the new biomass. But it's not only going to heat up the high school, it's also going to heat up the middle school. It's just not very far from the high school. It's just a couple buildings down. Like there's the high school and then right next to it is the office and then the next building over a little further north right across the Right across the street from the post office, that's the middle school. Well, I think that's pretty much it. So far. It's nothing much now. It's just empty land. Pretty much getting ready to build a new school. I think they're going to build the south part first and then work, out, work their way north. So, so there you go. You can figure I give you all the heads up of what's going on at the school. So, y'all have a good day, and bye-bye.